So thank you, Yulin, and thank you for everyone coming. So I'm Anglia Yang. Currently, I'm a, a data scientist and also a student which involved in research with computer vision and uh, artificial intelligence research work. So today I'm going to give a brief introduction about uh, artificial intelligence from my perspective and uh, I will get involved a little bit about the hot topic, deep learning, okay? So, uh, I know the AI now is a very hot topic, both commercially and uh, technically. So, but uh, m many people get illusion, just uh, AI is like this, uh, almost human-like with self-consciousness and uh, also can make a lot of uh, impossible thing <laughs> and uh, but actually currently to be honest the artificial intelligence is at a very first stage and uh, basically it's just a problem solver it's sort of code and a bunch of logic operations and algorithm embedding but it does make powerful performance in multiple tasks that's why we uh, chase for the further investigation in the future and uh, it also gained a lot of concentration so uh, according to me I think uh, artificial intelligence is just uh, uh, research work and investigation to enable our computers to uh, function in an intelligent manner like our Siri uh, from Apple and uh, also the other like chatbot and also uh, the basic one is it's just the models and uh, yes a uh, problem solver which can in some way can imitate human brain cognitive processing mechanism later I will mention that and uh, also it's because uh, currently the press and media they will focus on like deep learning, machine learning, data mining, sort of things because they are really hot topic. But actually for AI it's a uh, large domain to investigate. It includes our knowledge representation. The typical ones is the uh, Watson developed by IBM. I, I believe everyone <laughs> know about that and also about some searching uh, searching method like uh, genetic algorithm sort of things. They are also about like robot playing soccer, uh, playing soccer ball or just uh, uh, solve puzzles and uh, also about learning about this is uh, mainstream for studying and uh, application about machine learning and also kind of reasoning so it's a uh, large domain not just uh, about learning so it's a comprehensive, uh, comprehensive tasks of artificial intelligence and uh, also this is machine learning the most uh, concentrated one and uh, actually ma machine learning is study of computer algorithms so kind of programming and uh, kind of uh, mathematical mathematics and uh, which enable our computers to improve automatically based on data not based on the human designed rules so it can do some automation work from our data source directly and so this could be a uh, concentration and also the focus of current AI research and also application usage because we have so many uh, unlabeled data source on the website in our real life and that is a uh, lot of potential and opportunities there so um, for the next I'm gonna talking about learning and learning I think uh, maybe you you've heard about the support vector machine and uh, also others like Bayesian network those are uh, sort of very classic and a useful classifier but currently we uh, most mention about the neural network right because it's the most human like methods and uh, uh, algorithm which gives the most promising powerful uh, performance on multiple tasks so I'm gonna involving some 
knowledge basic about neural networks. So for neural networks, it's just uh, inspired by the human mechanism about our cognitive system. Uh, our brain was composed by multiple or millions of neurons. And the neurons can be activated by the stimuli of the input signals. Then it will give the path to the signal and uh, to pass the information from <coughs> one neuron to the next. So it will construct the whole processing procedure to uh, make us realize uh, an object or some kind of things that is currently happening. So this is in, um, initially was inspired by the human, but so later we developed in like 20th century about perceptron. So perceptron is very much more like the single one neuron. We give inputs, then we just uh, do a uh, simply weighted sum up. Then we give a hard limit for activated or inactivated. Then we give the output. So for this, we can do the simply uh, give the prediction of this is yes or no, just like a binary uh, classification. But we all know this is very hard to handle with the difficult tasks, like uh, when it faced with images uh, or our uh, speech or voices data, it's very hard to just uh, use a linear sum up to handle such kind of complicated work. Then we, in the 2012, the Yosha Benjo and uh, also Yan Le Kun, they uh, build up the so-called deep learning. So deep learning basically is also neural networks, but with much more layers, with so-called layers. And uh, also the other mm, image or, uh, or speech processing units, then we construct a uh, complicated enough for handling and uh, understanding this kind of like images or uh, video or speech. And uh, now on the data set of face, the performance of deep learning can surpass the human level for recognize a face. And uh, also we can learn from the most uh, comprehensive uh, application is AlphaGo. And uh, this year is I think the master, but the original one is AlphaGo. So AlphaGo actually is not just uh, about deep learning, though deep learning play a very important role in there, but AlphaGo actually is a very typical application with comprehensive uh, artificial intelligence uh, techniques, because basically it uh, will recognize the whole play uh, situation with its camera, so it's a vision-based uh, detection and recognition. We need to um, capture, like our hu human eyes saw the picture, then understand what's going on with the current stage. Then we use the further reasoning, or we call it competitive strategy, to choose which is the best move for the next step, or even for the uh, rest a step and uh, it will also involve searching because for go it, it cannot be a rule based because depends on the other competitor it will generate like different choice for your next move next place for play this chess so uh, it will use searching to search for an uh, optimal solution then it will give your move and the whole strategy because uh, the goal game is composed of multiple optimal choices. So this is basically the alpha goal, but also it based on the deep learning work to um, help us recognize the picture, the sceneries, and also help us to uh, 
choose better performance with multicolor trees, and these are the state of art of uh, AI research results. Okay, and uh, this is the basic, yeah, basic um, notes for your recommendation. And uh, yes, next, uh, welcome Asia. And if you got any problem about the deep learning and the computer vision related work, you can contact with me. Thank you.